And you're going to meet a neighbor who knows the secret to making beautiful sounds. You just put your lips together and blow. Now a story about a man who really enjoys blowing his own horn. Actually, make that horns. He's one of our neighbors. Here's Mike Hegedus. Abby Mayer is a classical musician. At 68, he rehearses in the basement of his Cornwall, New York home every day. The French horn is his instrument of choice, and to talk to him about music is to get a lesson in harmonics. The key is to make a vibration with your lip. And there's a phenomenon in nature where if you take a vibration and put it into a tube, you get a sound. But Abby Mayer is not a one-instrument man, oh no. In fact, suggest a trip to the backyard and he'll bring a suitcase full. You know, classy stuff like the garden hose or the conch shell. This actually comes from Rockaway. This is cheap shell, you know. Mayer travels all over the tri-state area, tooting his horns here at a Mercy College extension in Yonkers. He's the recipient of a Puffin grant to promote the playing of brass instruments. He'll do his act at the drop of a note. His musical fires were kindled when he played with the National Symphony at 21, fanned as first horn for the United States Military Academy Band for 20 years, and reheated every time he picks one up. It's not for smoking. This is Mayer's showstopper, an elk horn, 12 feet, 3 inches long, indoors melodic, outdoors majestic. An alp horn that is used in the Alps, in the Tyrolean area, by shepherds to soothe the herds of cows and goats. And it's also used to signal. Abby Mayer, the signals he sends out always ring true. In Cornwall, Mike Hegedus, News Channel 4. Mayor travels to schools and camps throughout our area to encourage students to play brass instruments. If you know someone whose story would make a good neighbor's feature, let us know. Our email address is neighbors at NBC.com.